So before I even heard about Beat Savers, I just thought, like, you're making music. But then I walked into the Collider office one day and I saw Frank just doing some random stuff. I'm like, what is he doing? And then I, I found out what that game actually was and it was pretty cool. But I like the concept because, like, with VR games, like, when I think VR, I think kind of, like, first-person shooter type of, like, you know, things like that. And I have very limited experience with VR. And I think for my, like, first time playing a VR game, this was probably the best way to do it. The game had been explained to me like a Guitar Hero style, but VR with lightsabers. And immediately I was like, all right, those are things that I all enjoy. I knew absolutely nothing about Beat Saber before I actually played the game, but when someone says to me, hey, you wanna come play some VR? I'm never gonna say no to that. Uh, I absolutely love these types of games. Uh, Guitar Hero, I spent way too many hours in high school playing it. I learned how to play the drums, playing rock band. Like, I love these types of games. Honestly, I love the simplicity of this game. It's uh, a rhythm game and there's not much more to it, but there doesn't need to be. Oh, after I played it, I am officially addicted. I want to sneak into the office and hope that it's set up so I can turn it on and play. It's addicting because you want to go back and you want to get a perfect score on every single song and then you can like, download these songs that are super hard because I try like the Pokemon song. I wanted to, you know, catch them all, but it, I failed after like two blocks and I was like, what is happening? I, I loved it. Like just being in sync with the music. It's like a tar hero, but you're immersed into the actual, like, the world of it. So it's coming at you, you hitting the beats and stuff like that. I loved it. If they had a full catalog of all the songs I love, then I'd just be playing it constantly for hours. I kind of also like that I got an exercise out of it because I was sweating a little bit. Like, Frank sweat way more. I'm glad I didn't go after Frank because he needed, like, a towel. What I loved about it the most was the immersive feeling of the VR itself. I felt like I was really playing inside of this world and bouncing around. It took me a matter of seconds to feel fully addicted and attached to Beat Saber. The second I took off the visor and walked away, all I could think of was jumping back into the rig and playing it all over again. There's just something about that sensation. And I also love music. So the idea of playing a game like that and keeping a beat it's almost like this addictive feeling. I love those rhythm type games, and this one, more than a guitar hero or rock band, you're just like, you're in it. And I love, you're like, your whole body's moving, you're immersed in it. This is like the first VR game I've really played, so I love, yeah, I love how immersive it is, and I love how, I love this game. One bad thing that I noticed playing the VR, and maybe it's just me, but the game kept on pausing on me because there's all these buttons, not the trigger, but apparently there's like side buttons and I kept on pushing it. Well, how else am I supposed to hold these controllers? Like I'm just holding, I wasn't death gripping them, at least I don't think. If I had to think of any other critiques, I would say more of a, a, a wider variety of catalogs for a different genre of songs. Uh, I mean, maybe when they come out with the full game, I would hope that they'd have more songs. Uh, what's nice is being able to download their songs from the internet. I'd also like them to explain the scoring system from the beginning so that you're not just left to guess and you know somebody beats you when they didn't do as well as you did. The only thing that stops Beat Saber from being perfect is when it gets so difficult that it messes up my score. It took me a little while to get the moving out of the way of the wall thing down, but eventually I got there. So until I find a better answer to this, it's just gonna be anything that makes me lose. Honestly, this is probably enough for me to invest in a VR system. Not an HTC Vive, I'm looking at more like uh, PSVR. I went home and I said to my husband, we need to put aside some money because I need to purchase Beat Sabers. How do I go about getting this set up at home? And so I started researching on it already. I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy it this year, but watch out world. If, like if there's a bundle pack, throw in a couple other games, then I might get it, but not by itself. It's a question of whether or not my wife would let me build an entire room for VR. Beat Saber comes so, so close to justifying me actually setting up my own VR in my home. You know, it's pricey, so I kind of wish that I had a couple of games that I was addicted to, but even then, it's not a matter of the game. It's more so if I invest in it, am I gonna have the free time to play? I think I would lose my job and then I couldn't afford it, so yeah, that's, that's where I end up on that. I'm really considering investing in a VR system specifically for this game. Halo got me to buy an Xbox, Breath of the Wild got me to buy a Switch. I think this is what's going to get me to get a, uh, a VR system. I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. I give it a 8 
8.8, no, 8. 8 out of 10, I'll give it 8 out of 10. Uh, 8 and a half. Me, I give the game a 7 out of 10, only because it's really fun to play with a big group. I wonder if it's gonna be just as fun to play at home alone. This is gonna be the equivalent of Rock Band, but also of the Nintendo Wii. That kind of system or that kind of game that you play when other people are around. Maybe you don't play too much when you're home alone. I think I'm going with a 9. I loved playing it. I stopped playing it. I wanted to play it more. And that's kind of the sensation that I love with any game that I play, whether it's on VR or another console. The only reason I think I take off a point is because I kind of just want more of it. I want an even bigger menu of songs and, and I'm still bitter that I don't own it. I was going to give it a 10 until the whole scoring debacle. I'm going to give it a 9. 